Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz. I'm a certified technician and today we're going to be going over how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB. Uh, we're going to show you the quick and easy method through uh, the Microsoft website. So it will work great. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to open up your internet browser. I provided a link in the description down below. Uh, you can just use the link instead of, or you can just uh, search uh, what um, you can just search Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Uh, the link, if you use the link in the description, that's probably easier, but just showing you both ways and see the Microsoft site, I'm making it to Microsoft.com, don't click on any other, of these other non-legit ones, so we're going to go to Microsoft.com and we are going to go to the Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Uh, the one up above, Windows 11 Installation Assistant, is it just if you want to upgrade your current operating system. But we're going to make a USB. We're going to hit Download Now. Uh, I'm using the Chrome web browser, so it goes right there on that bottom download bar. But if you can't find it on your web browser, you can also just quick and easy go to File Explorer, that little manila envelope. And then go to your download section and see you, you can see a downloaded media creation tool right there. So I'm going to open this up. All right, there we go, getting a few things ready. Okay, so some things you're going to need as this. First, you're going to uh, hit accept. Uh, you're also going to need a USB that's eight gigabytes or bigger. Eight gigabytes is the minimum. I find that getting something a teeny bit bigger, like 16, usually works better. Okay, so as you see, it is now giving me language options. I'm going to go with the, um, obviously with English, but you can also select a different language if there's something else you prefer. Uh, and it, as you can see, there's only one Windows 11 version. So I'm going to go with that, hit next. And I already have plugged in my USB. Also, I find a newer USB is better. Um, and like I said, above the minimum requirements is also better. This is what I'm going to use. I put the link that brings you to Amazon where I bought it in the description down below. So I'm going to do a USB. You can also do a DVD if you prefer that. I just like USB. I think it's better, easier, works a little bit quicker. Now I'm so I'm going to select USB flash drive, like it says there. And now I'm going to hit next. Okay, so I already have mine plugged in. You might have to hit refresh list if you haven't plugged yours in. Go ahead and plug it in and hit refresh the list if you need to. And I'm selecting that one. If you have multiple devices, make sure you select the correct one. If you aren't sure what the name of it is, then just uh, go unplug it and replug it in and see if it appears or reappears there in your file explorer. Hit next. And it downloading process has begun. This is going to take a while. Uh, so be patient, especially if you have a slow internet connection, then it might take forever. Uh, I have a pretty decent um, internet connection and I have my computers, you know, I'm, I'm running at 128 gigabytes of RAM here and it is just still at a crawl. So just be patient. You can do this. It'll be fine. Okay, so at this point it verifies my download and then it will start actually creating your Windows 11 USB and depending on the speed of your computer, well, that will kind of dictate how fast it goes. So we're just going to jump ahead here. All right, so I've made it to 99%. Good for me. Took long enough. Uh, so once it finishes 100%, I'm going to be ready to go. And there we go, your USB flash drive is ready. So I can hit finish, inject the drive, and then it is ready to go. And that is how you create a Windows 11 USB. Thank you for your continued support of our channel through both subscribing and through Patreon. Also, a big shout out to our fellow eggheads that have purchased merchandise from our store. And as always, thank you for liking and sharing our videos. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.